Welcome everyone to Catholic Sunday Scriptures in Context. This is a ministry of the Augustinian Order and St. Paul Parish. Today we are focusing on the fifth Sunday of Easter. Our first reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles, as it does during the entire Easter season. And this is uh, an encounter between Saul, who will soon become Paul, and the Apostles. And it has now been three years since Paul's uh, moment at Damascus, where he fell to the ground and um, you know, was blinded and then um, recovered from his blindness. And he spent three years in the desert. And according to Paul's letters, during those three years in the desert, he learned the gospel of Jesus Christ from Jesus himself. Paul does never claims to have learned the gospel from the apostles. And the disciples, as the letter says, and the apostles were afraid of Paul because he had brought so many people to judgment and many of them to death. Barnabas steps up and vouches for Saul. He saw the work that he did in Damascus and says that this man is a true um, Christian, uh, a true uh, apostle of the gospel. And Paul was a, a rather um, an apostle who was strong in his preaching, so much so that he either was one of those who had devoted friends or implacable enemies. And it seems he developed those enemies in Jerusalem through his preaching because some of the uh, uh, Greeks wanted to kill him and they had to usher him out of the city of Jerusalem and return him to his hometown of Tarsus. Uh, so there you go, when Saul arrived in Jerusalem, again at this point he's still being called Saul by Luke, and then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles. And after he got done preaching to the Hellenist, they tried to kill him, and so they took him up to the town of Caesarea and put him on a ship to get him back to Tarsus. And then you see that phrase, the church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. So even as these confrontations occur and they say that there's tension, there still was joy in the Christian faith. Our second reading continues to be from the first letter of John. And we must, we must realize that this letter was written during the height of the persecutions, which gives even more power to the message here, that what's needed is not violence in response to the persecutions, but love. John wants a love that is sincere in word and in deed. Love is the test of one's religion, and love brings unity and the gifts of the Spirit. And that's what's highlighted here. <clears throat> we must love in deed and in truth. And the command of the Lord is this, that we should believe in his name and that we should love one another as he commanded us. And lastly, our gospel is another um, metaphor for understanding Jesus. So we had Jesus as the bread of life, or we will have Jesus as the bread of life in another passage. The good shepherd, and now I am the vine and you are the branches. And I think one of the mindsets we need to have is that there were really only three prominent fruits at the time of Jesus, and those were figs, pomegranates, and grapes. And grapes had a longer sustaining period because they could be dried as raisins, they could be made into jams, and uh, most importantly, made into wine and kept for uh, the year. So the people understood the vine and its properties and how essential it was to their life. And we need to understand that the branches do not bear fruit that do not be a fruit must be cut away so that new branches can grow. And so, you know, this was um, uh, a critical point for the, the followers that you must do something, you must bear fruit. And so apart from Jesus, I see G Jesus there, I should look to my typing, we cannot bear fruit. And if we live in him, we will produce abundantly. Um, you know, I am the vine, you are the branches, you bear much fruit and become my disciples. So thank you very much. And please pray for peace. We need it so desperately. Uh, and if you think it's helpful to someone, please pass it on.